Should we do the sign off again? Let's make this quick. Hey there, hopheads, and welcome to the shed. Even Star here with another beer in review for you. It's been a little while since my last beer review, but I'm hoping to get a few more out in the next little while. Now, if you remember, my last beer review was a little bit silly. I am the dread pirate Even Star, and that was for Pirate Life Imperial IPA. Um, that's a lovely man called Sean sent for me to review and he sent me um, some other Pirate Life beers as well including this one Pirate Life Pale Ale and just to do him justice and the beer justice I thought I would do sort of a a little more serious review um, for their beers so without further ado let's get this show on the road shall we so there is the can for you to see in Pirate Life. Um, I think it comes as standard in cans in these 350 milliliter um, cans. Although the Imperial IPA came in sort of the, the quite tall thing was like maybe it was 455 or 500 milliliter, or maybe even was a pint um, can. Uh, and their branding is very distinct. This, uh, that's their logo, and all their beers have that sort of design on them. Um, and what differs from sort of beer to beer is the color of the can. <laughs> Cans seem to be a format, um, when I was in Canada, they were very popular format for craft beer. Um, it's catching on here in the UK quite a bit, um, especially smaller craft breweries are opting for the can. Um, I used to be a bit of a snob in that respect, I guess because I grew up with kind of you know, cheap crappy beer came in cans, so um, if you're gonna get sort of a nicer beer, it comes in a nice bottle. Uh, however, um, this seems to be the format that's that's catching on, and I would have to say that when I was in Canada, um, all of the really nice beers that I had came in canned format, and you didn't drink it right out of the can, um, and it didn't really, to me, um, affect the flavor of the beer too much. I think I've said before that uh, if you're storing uh, craft beer, so if you're one of these people that like cellar uh, craft beer, which I don't, I like to drink beer, I don't keep it around, um, the bottle apparently is a better way to keep it. Um, but like I say, I don't, I don't mind the can format, I don't drink it out of the can, it doesn't seem to affect the taste to me. Wow. Now that is a very pretty color. It's almost like a tangerine color, and it's always difficult when making these videos. The color I see here in real life um, isn't always what translates to what's on camera, but that's a, a cloudy, um, very bright orange, like I say, almost a tangerine color. Um, it's got a lot of bubbles in that. It smells yeasty and fruity, sort of um, apricot and peaches in the aroma. Let's taste it, shall we? Mmm! Mmm! That apricot and peach flavor, actually you get quite a lot of that fruitiness right up front. Um, a sweet, sweeter fruitiness right up front. There's a little bit of bitterness in there. It's almost like a minty bitter. Or a little bit of orange and lemon zest in that bitterness as well. It's quite a, it's quite a smooth beer. Um, it's just a pale ale, not an India pale ale. Now, if someone wants to kind of weigh in in the comments on what they think the differences between those two things are, please do so. Uh, I've tried a lot of India pale ales, American style, English style. French style, Portuguese and Spanish style India Pale Ales, they all tend to be kind of the same, very dank and heavily resinous, but also um, quite sweet, almost elko poppy sweet. This beer is tending towards that, but it's it's a bit smoother. It doesn't have a sort of really edgy dankness that um, 
sort of what we're starting to call an Indian Pale Ale or India Pale Ale has. It's almost like you're getting that smoothness of the that peach flavor. Well, peaches are smooth coming through. As your palate warms up to the beer a bit, um, it becomes a little bit less sweet and you kind of get a more pronounced, maybe it's a little bit juniper bitterness in there. Boozy. It's quite boozy, kind of like a gin and tonic booziness. That's a really nice beer. Um, it's not, like I say, it's not too heavy on that sort of dank resinous that you'd get in an India Pale Ale these days. And it doesn't have quite so much of that cotton candy tang sweetness at the back either. It finishes quite bitter and fresh. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a quaffable beer. So I'd like to thank Sean and Pirate Lay for being kind enough to send me these beers to review with you. Um, if you like this review and are interested in seeing more uh, news and reviews from the world of craft beer, especially British craft beer, um, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Even Star. You're in the sheds, and this is the Beer and Review. <laughs>